My name is Katherine Quisenberry. I'm the head of avian and exotic pet medicine at the Animal Medical Center in New York, New York. The questions that a veterinarian should ask when someone brings in exotic animals is all basically related to history because history is so important. Where did they purchase the animal? Did they get it from a breeder? Did they get it from a pet store? How long have they had it? Because that's a lot of infectious diseases. We see a lot of infectious diseases, but usually they're in animals that are recently purchased. So if it's a pet that's been in the home for 10, 15 years, you're not gonna think about the same things that you would think in a bird that was bought three months ago. Exotic animals are, for the most part, more sensitive to the way they're managed than a dog or a cat. And the reason that is, is because the environment that we give these animals is a man-made environment. We are trying to mimic in ways things that they would normally have in the wild, which is very, very difficult to do. If you have a dog or a cat, if he doesn't like the flooring he's sitting on or the place they're laying on, they'll get up and go to another place. If you have a reptile in a particular cage, you have a specific matting, you have heat under that mat, they can't pick up and move. They can't temperature regulate unless you provide that. So they are confined to what we give them. It's so important to become very educated on as much as you can on what's normal, what's natural for these animals when they're kept as pets in, in a captive environment. So especially for exotic pets, nutrition plays a huge role in many of the problems that these animals are presented to us veterinarians for because unlike dogs and cats, they have specific nutritional requirements that are not easily met and it's really important to find out what people are actually feeding as opposed to what they tell you that they're feeding these animals. Certainly, you always should ask very specific questions about the diet. You want to ask how much of certain foods they're feeding, how often, are they feeding once a week, three times a week, every day, because the frequency of feeding and which particular foods they're feeding are very important with exotics. As a veterinary student, as a veterinarian, if you are interested in dealing with exotic pets or treating exotic pets, the important thing is to get as much education as you can in whatever way you can, online learning, going to seminars, reading books, because there's no way at any point in your career that you're gonna know everything about anything. I've been doing this for 35 years and there's things that still walk in the door, I have no idea what they are. So you have to, you have to just keep yourself open, keep yourself educated, but that's the challenge, so that's what makes it interesting.